Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dears. In this video we will be discussing the place of articulation. Our focus will be on the articulation of consonant sounds. So let's start. The definition is the place of articulation refers to where the articulators tongue, teeth, lips or glottis make contact in the vocal tract to create a consonant sound. Now on which articulator the consonant sound occurs. If it is because of the two lips, we call it bilabial. Now let's look at the process of consonant production to see where the place of articulation fits in. So the process is air is pushed from the lungs, then air moves towards trachea, larynx and pharynx, which is a windpipe. Then the diaphragm and the chest muscles control air flow. Then the vocal cords in the larynx start vibration cycle which builds up air pressure and generates acoustic waves. Then the air flow can go either through the oral cavity or through the nasal cavity, either through your mouth or through your nose, depending on the sound. Whether it is a nasal sound, so it will go to through nose, and if it is oral sound it will go through mouth. Finally the air is modified by the articulators, lips, tongue, teeth and palate. Uh, there are eight places of articulation. The first one is bilabial. Bi means two, labial means lips. So when a sound is produced using both the lips or we can say when both the lips they touch each other and the sound produced this way is called bilabial sound. For example, p, b and m. In p sound, both the lips they touch each other. In b again and in m again. Labiodental, labio means lips, dental means teeth. In labiodental sounds, the lower lip approaches or touches the upper teeth. Examples are f and v. These are labiodental sounds. Then we have dental sounds. Dental sounds involves the upper teeth is the passive articulator. And the active articulator is the tongue. So the tip of the tongue touches the upper teeth. There are two sounds, th and th. Then we have alveolar sounds. The alveolar ridge is the bumpy gum just behind your front teeth. There is a rough area. It is called alveolar ridge. Now in alveolar sounds, the tongue tip approaches or touches the alveolar ridge. The sounds are t, j, n, l, s, z and r. The next place of articulation is post alveolar. Post alveolar sounds involve the area just behind the alveolar ridge. So it is in the roof of the mouth but not in the middle is the passive articulator. The active articulator may be either the tip of the tongue or the blade of the tongue. So it touches or it goes near to the area behind the alveolar ridge. The sounds are sh, j, ch and j. Then we have palatal sounds. In a palatal consonant, the body of the tongue, the blade of the tongue approaches or touches the hard palate, the roof of the mouth. For example, y, y in yes, it is a palatal sound. Then we have velar sounds. The velum is the soft palate, which is just behind the hard palate where the bony part stops. For a velar consonant, the body of the tongue or the back of the tongue touches or approaches the soft palate or the velum. In English, we have k, g, and ng, the sound for ing, are the velar sounds. Then we have glottal sounds. The glottis is the opening between the vocal folds and the sound h is produced in the epiglottis. This is glottal sound. These are the places of articulation of consonant sounds. Thank you so much.